it next to uh, Enos Bradshaw. Welcome. And uh, Enos, I noticed that uh, uh, you want to talk about the um, additional police officers and the jail. And, and just for just for your information, that the jail is not anything that the city directly uh, is involved with. Uh, we use it, but we're not the ones that determine. Uh, okay, so welcome. Thank you. We have five minutes. First of all, my name is Ennis. Yes. I apologize. No, no apology is accepted. Um, I come this evening uh, kind of in concern. I want to say uh, thank you to this council. As a seven o'clock, uh, I've been a citizen of Colorado for 30 years and four months to today. So I want to get this uh, reference of my opinion, they are opinions, okay. Uh, where we are going in Pueblo. I want to understand that I care for Pueblo and I address this council in that way. And I hope that you all, by the time I'm done, you'll also understand that um, very boldly, I don't agree with the uh, direction this council sending in. Um, in one hand, I hold a police record of myself. Um, it even makes myself want to throw up. Um, because it, I do not believe it is anything that I am. Um, I have been in trouble. Um, I have been to the Department of Corrections. And I want to express that I don't glorify any way. I think that it was a very downfall of my life. Um, but I do believe that the Department of Corrections can change people. And it should be given a chance to change people. Um, I see in my town um, a very nice town, the town I love, so much that it is <laughs> tattooed on my neck. Um, and I have made mistakes in life in this town. But as through maturity, I think that people want ultimately success. And even though somebody can be uh, fall into a path of, you know, they made a mistake, um, I think that they also should give in a chance. So I'm trying to speak for people. Um, when I say the jail um, and the uh, police issue, um, I believe they're suffering because they're deemed in a way that is not correct. Um, Council, I believe, has provided information that is not correct to the people of Pueblo. Um, 24 officers, that's a little model I have of Pueblo. When we already have 200 some, um, here's my model of Pueblo West, the county. Uh, <laughs> we have a huge number of law enforcement in Pueblo. Um, I think that the direction of the council is leading to um, the direction of law enforcement in Pueblo. Um, I want you to also understand that even though I have a negative record that makes me want to do, I also have a positive record that I have formal education. Um, I graduated 2003 from the University of Southern Colorado, went to Centennial High School, uh, 1994 state champs. Uh, excuse me, yes. Uh, I was on that team, but I was at Centennial. Uh, so, but I do have knowledge and I try to acquire knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And as they said in my graduation, uh, since I have developed knowledge, I'm obligated that if I see something wrong, to address it. Um, so when I say that where the vision is wrong, my facts are, well, the chief didn't want to read time after time that we need more law enforcement. The council won't provide any way or any form or, any, or don't even look at is there uh, possible corruption? Is there possible misleading information? Growing up in Pueblo, um, well, first of all, I see you guys always hire experts from outside regions. Well, take an expert from Pueblo. Council, when I grew up, used to do ride alongs with the police at night and I'm trying to get a true understanding of the true problems of Pueblo. If we just go on the direction and opinion of the law enforcement, we don't first-hand look at 
then it's a disservice. I walk the streets of Pueblo because I don't have a car. I'm trying to get back on my feet. And I do believe that I can. But I also do believe that I don't see all this crime that we're talking about. I do also believe that it's misleading because we're not looking, we see a number of people in incarceration and then we see a number of Excuse me, that concludes your time. That's five minutes. Yeah, I'm sorry to have you had a little clock in front of you, but I welcome you to come back within two weeks. That's when we have the next public forum. And uh, what was the clock at? Should be one right there by your. It's still going at six. Yeah, it's going negative now. So anyhow, come back. I had a clock myself and it was okay. to save that. So.